Hello and welcome to The Blow Show. Have you ever seen advertisement or Instagram posts from people pretending to be the rich kids of Dubai? Well, in this episode, you will learn a few tricks to step up your game and look like the richest 1% of Dubai without breaking the bank. Stay tuned and enjoy the ride. You're listening to The Blow Show, the podcast experience with guests from all over the world. So my friends, let's face it. Up until a few years ago, doing stories with a rented Lamborghini in Dubai made you gain followers really easy and gave you the daily dopamine fix. But today, 99% of Dubai narrative is a copy and paste. So I want to give you some advice on how to differentiate yourself from the competition, have that extra quid and all this without spending a fortune. In Sicily, where I come from, we say risparmiamo e comparimo, which translated means more or less save money, but still make a good impression. And I think it's beautiful. So who am I to give you this advice? In addition to having worked for almost three years in Dubai, both with big private companies and with the government, I have a network of contacts and friends on the ground that allow me to give you those insider knowledge. So my tips, in addition to saving you hundreds, if not thousands of euros or dollars, will make you look so rich. And before starting, I want to make a small disclaimer as a marketing practitioner. A little bit of whipped cream, positioning, staging never hurts. And often with a small additional investment, you can achieve excellent results, more than proportional to the money that you put in. As an example, if you live in a small town and you drive a used Toyota Camry that your parents gave you, you and then you do Instagrams with the Lamborghini, you only risk to be taken for a fool. But having said that, let's start with the general consideration. If you want to profile yourself as a successful influencer with a luxurious dry lifestyle, Dubai certainly lends itself well and offers a lot of bang for the buck. So if you decide to make this pilgrimage to fill your Instagram and add whipped cream on your profile, I'll give you some tips in no particular order so you can take whatever you need from the buffet. Hardware. So let's start with the hardware. If the budget is limited and you cannot afford a videographer or photographer on site, but you still want to get a professional result, I highly recommend a gimbal like this DJY, which in addition of being available with the um, tripod as a kit, has a very important function. It tracks or follows your face. So you can lean the gimbal and walk around and it will follow you, keeping the frame and the composition of the photo or video as if you had a cameraman. The previous model is extremely robust and reliable and costs about 100 euros, which is the equivalent of 110 US dollars. But if you want to invest something more, I recommend the DJY OM5, which costs like 50 euros more, but has a built-in selfie stick, is even lighter and more manageable than the previous model. And you can find the link in the description of, for the best deals on Amazon. Champagne. So to celebrate your success and take pictures where you reward yourself for your performance or flush your throat like the grand lords that you are, you need champagne. But whether in hotels or bars, champagne in Dubai costs much more than in Europe because alcohol is haram and therefore is heavily taxed. So the first thing you have to do to save the at least 200 bucks is to buy two or more bottles of champagne directly upon arrival at the duty-free at the airport. In Dubai, you can access the duty-free even on arrival, so you can easily buy up to four bottles of alcohol per person at a good price. If you smoke and want to take pictures with cigars, these are also much more affordable at the airport and almost all sizes come in the single pack. If you want to flex properly, buy the Cuban Cohiba, which is a very recognizable label and looks great on pictures. It's basically like the equivalent of wearing a Rolex Daytona. SIM card. My advice is to immediately purchase a local SIM card. So because roaming from Dubai is very expensive. So at the airport, at the exit towards the metro, you will find the booth of the telecom provider, for example, Do. And uh, you can get a prepaid SIM card with a data package included and you can make phone calls and go online carefree. And there's another uh, reason uh, to buy a SIM card because there are many services that you can use for free in Dubai, but often the authentication with the SMS does not work if you have a foreign number. So the local SIM card will save you, will save you lots of money and it will come very handy during the trip. Hotels. In Dubai, there are hotels for all budgets, but if you want to be splendid and look rich, you have to get a five star. But don't be afraid. It is possible to book the best hotels in Dubai without breaking the bank. And here are a few tips. The cheapest months are from May to September, and unfortunately, they are also the hottest months. So if you can, 
booked just after Easter vacation or during periods when there are no major events. Same thing goes towards the end of September, where if you're lucky, you can find a more bearable temperature. Another suggestion is to take a flight plus hotel package. I get along very well with Expedia, but there are several portals where you can find all kinds of offers. Do your due diligence because often the same package has very different prices and sometimes you save with one site and sometimes with the other. So we cannot really recommend one specific site. And for convenience and budget, I recommend a hotel on the subway, preferably on the red line and possibly right next to the station because depending on the season, even walking 50 meters in the heat in Dubai can really be a deadly challenge. My choice is either Marina, which gives you access to many amenities and the nightlife of Dubai, or downtown, which is roughly the area around the Burj Khalifa and the Emirates Towers. And here comes my pro tip that can save you a lot of money. Look at the calendar of the Dubai Trade Center. When there are fairs and exhibitions, the hotels around the Trade Center are full and therefore the prices skyrocket. An additional advantage that these hotels have is that they all have a pool with garden plus a rooftop bar, so you can take very Instagrammable pictures. Otherwise, choose your hotel around Dubai Marina. Here, especially in the evening, you have everything at walking distance, like restaurants, clubs, so you, you save time and money. Fly it. If your budget allows, business class or first with Emirates is a must. But if you're watching this video, you probably are not very rich or are only pretending to be so. Never mind, I've got you covered. With a small additional expense compared to the economy ticket, you can fly business with Turkish Airlines and have a stopover in Istanbul. In addition to a more comfortable flight and the chance to strike some poses already on the plane, in Istanbul you have access to the business lounge which is beautiful, very scenic and there are also private suites where you can have a nap. You can eat and drink without limits and I can assure you that the Turkish cuisine is excellent. And the icing on the cake, you can take a shower which is far far better than the shower you can get on the first class of Emirates. Just ask at the reception and they will give you bathrobe, towels, slippers and everything you need. And showering in the lounge is really, really cool and gives you that touch of decadence that fits to your Instagram. So I suggest you take a flight that gives you the possibility to stay at least for three hours in Istanbul. And then you can fly at night and arrive in Dubai in the morning, fresh, rested and showered. For the Istanbul-Dubai route, Turkish has Dreamliners in service and those aircrafts have very high level business class, very wide windows, so you can take some some Instagrammable pictures even during the flight. Photo Ops If you need some exclusive locations for pictures that have not been already seen by 10,000 times by your favorite Dubai guru, this is a very important chapter. One of the most beautiful buildings in Dubai is the Museum of the Future, which has been inaugurated recently on February 22, 2022. Sheikh Mohammed has a knack for choosing dates that are easy to remember. And for example, the metro station was in inaugurated on the 9999. This is a trick that I use for my wedding, so I never forget the anniversary. And the question is, how can you take beautiful pictures without paying the museum ticket and get a fantastic perspective, like a real professional? So just go to Emirates Towers, which is on a metro stop Emirates Towers on the red line. So enter from the boulevard, which is on the opposite side of the financial center. And here you already have the several opportunities to take very nice pictures. For example, there are peacocks that roam freely in the garden, or you can just take some pictures of the financial center with a nice perspective from below. So you look like a high finance businessman or woman. And then let's go back to Emirates Towers. If you stand in front of the door, on the right side there is the parking lot. And here you will find many luxury cars and you can take some pictures with the usual uh, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Rolls Royce and co. I think that this is a poor man stuff, but if you like it, serve yourself. If you're lucky, you will also find His Highness car parked in front of the entrance. It's easily to recognize because it's a Mercedes G-Class with license plate 1 and Prince Amdan's uh, license plate is 11. If you love taking pictures of parked cars, I'll give you another tip later. Once you enter Emirates Towers, you have at least two nice photo ops. So the first one is to stay on the ground floor and go straight. In front of you, you will find the co-working area, which is called Area 2071. And if you don't have professional equipment or cameras for which you need a permit to film, and if there are free seats, you can just pretend to work in the super stylish environment and take the first pictures of a successful entrepreneur pretending to make millions in the Dubai office. Here there are often some very interesting and free events, so check out the calendar, you can find the link in the description. But now let's go to the location to take the cool pictures of the museum of the future. The secret way is the following. 
Take the escalator and head in the direction of Starbucks. So in go inwards, leaving the Starbucks on your right and the flow, which is another cafe, on your left. You go straight and then when you reach the pharmacy or the small supermarket, you turn sharp right. And there's a darker corridor which leads to another escalator, which is used by the employees of Emirates Towers. You go up and on one side you will find the controlled access for the employees and on the other side there's a bar cafeteria that also has access to the terrace. Now I don't remember the name of the establishment and probably even if I did, by the time you see this video they have changed their name, management, and decor, whatever. But it doesn't matter. If you go up to the second floor you can't miss the spot. My recommended time is to go after 8.30 and before 11.30. The terrace will not be too crowded and from there you can take really spectacular pictures, especially in the morning when it's foggy and it seems like you are on a cloud with the museum below you. It's really a surreal thing. And all this at no cost apart maybe for the 3 euros for a cappuccino. And since this is the museum of the future, you can of course borrow some aphorism of Sheikh Mohammed, like the future belongs to those who can imagine it, design it and execute it. And if you want to step up your Instagram game and send a message to those people that envy your pretentious lifestyle, I suggest another one of Big Mo. <clears throat> Let me think. It was like, most people talk, we do things. They plan, we achieve. They hesitate, we move ahead. We are living proof that when human beings have the courage and commitment to transform a dream into reality, there's nothing that can stop them. Big deal. Mention. So if your budget is a little tight and you cannot afford a five-star hotel, but you still want to take pictures in your supposed mansion, I have a solution for you too, which as a bonus will allow you to take some additional pictures of parked supercars. So first of all, go to Mall of the Emirates. And if you take the metro, it's Red Line, Metro Station, Mall of the Emirates. And as soon as you enter, there's a roundabout parking lot where VIP clients in a hurry just leave their cars right in front of the door. So the Lamborghinis or the Rolls Royce is a must. But if you want to take some supercar pictures more calmly and with a better light, here's the secret. You enter from the main entrance and you go straight across the whole mall until you reach the parking lot on the back side. And here you will find on display on a polished granite floor everything, everything that every self-respecting wannabe guru dreams of. If you come on weekends, which in Dubai is Friday and Saturday, or on holidays, you will also find rich people from the nearby Emirates or from Saudi Arabia. So in addition to the Lambo, which is quite common in Dubai, you will find little cars like Bugatti and some custom-made cars. And once you have done the shooting with the cars, now you need the mansion. So you go back always on the ground floor, and there where the corridors intersect, there are stands of real estate agencies. And the most Instagrammable are the floating villas on World Island, the new buildings on Emirate Hills, and Damak Lagoons. And the others can be ignored because they are not so cool. And the trick is you have to pretend that you are interested in buying and that you have come to Dubai just to invest your capital. They will organize a visit for you, including transport, food and drinks. And for the pictures, you can bring the bottle of champagne that you had at the airport. So you can play the part of the millionaire who feels at home and enjoys life, sipping the best beverages of the world. It's another idea for your Instagram. And of course you'll ask, how can I convince the real estate agents that I'm not a beggar who has come just to waste this time. And here I'll reveal you the trick. And so let's assume that a good real estate agent with some experience, he has a nose for understanding who is in front of him. If you are not very rich, he can see it and understand it on the fly. So you have to play the part of the rich. And the most credible thing in this historical moment is to say that you have made a lot of money with crypto. Study your answer carefully because maybe they will ask you, ah, yes, and which one? Because be aware that in Dubai, everyone has a background in crypto, so don't, go, don't get caught. And say that you have made a good investment, that now you want to invest at most 3 million euros for a property, better if two and a half, and also ask if they have financing plans. And they will organize your trip to the locations, and here the local number will be super useful. It will save you lots of money on calls received and make it easy to organize the transportation and the whole logistics. And with this one, you have also solved the photo op in the luxury villa in Dubai. If you're staying less than a week in Dubai and you want to be more efficient, you should organize this trip before you leave. Just Google Seahorse Floating Villa Dubai or Emery Sills or Damak Lagoons and contact the agency directly. And now I just hope that my friend Oliver Gobish, who has a real estate agency in Dubai, he will not see this video because otherwise it will blow your cover. Party time. Dubai is one of the best places in the world to make party. Here I give you two resources that will allow you to party like a pro on a budget. The first one is the website whatson.ae and the other one is the almighty entertainer app. 
on what's on you will find all the events and theme parties and uh, while with the entertainer app you will find excellent offers for the best places to eat or for other events for example you can save lots of money and have access to places and events which are otherwise unknown to tourists or in any case to those who don't know Dubai as insiders. A classic offer is the eat two pay one, whereby if there are two of you, you can split the bill and have the luxury of going to a restaurant of a higher category and pay a reasonable price. Or there are like two cocktails for the price of one, which in Dubai is a heck of money. The entertainer app has a fee, but if you go out just a few times, the investment is amortized super easily. For example, if you brunch at the Palazzo Versace, you have paid for the app and then some with only one transaction. And this is a bit of topic. My English pronunciation might not be perfect but as an Italian please 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 don't say Versace it's Versace if you want to party in the most Instagrammable locations I recommend the clubs and private beaches on and around the palm tree here you are spoiled for choice but if you want the top for Instagram the perfect location for me is the five Palm Jumeirah Hotel. Now I'm not going to explain you what and who you will find there, but I can guarantee you that this is money well spent. We speak about 150 dirhams for women and 300 for men, which is about 305 or 70 euros. But the, this amount is completely redeemable on food and beverage. And among other things, if you take this beach pool package, when you check in at the reception, you can casually ask if they have free suites because you will soon have guests. If so, you just ask if you can take a look. And since you have taken the beach package, they already consider you as a client and will treat you as such. So if they have availability, they will show you the suite and you can take some Instagrammable pictures here as well. And from the suites, you can see the Ain Dubai panoramic wheel and there's also a spectacular view on the marina skyline and this will blow your audience. And a message to the ladies out there, if you are the girlfriend or the wife of the wannabe millionaire and your your man tells you that he must do only business at the five hotel be aware that that place is the equivalent of going to Ibiza, Mykonos, Miami or Vegas. And same thing goes for you guys because the bachelorette parties at the five are very, very dangerous. Watch out. And another thing that makes the five so special for me is that if you love house music, there are many renowned DJs such as Clapton or Korolova. So really great stuff. But in this case, you have to reserve and be put on the list. You can also find the link in the description and you can contact the promoter directly. And still on the subject of clubs and nightlife, if you want to give the idea of being re relentless party people who go to a different party every night and want to make the people who follow you die of envy, go to Dubai Marina in a place called Pier 7. It's very easy to find. This is a building with seven floors and on each floor there's a different club. So in one evening you can do all seven and maybe if you bring a spare outfit you can change in the bathroom and pretend that you have gone out seven times documenting each night out and each club with a different outfit. I've seen people do it for real. If you organize well you will receive many likes and hearts on your Instagram. Guaranteed transportation and cars. So in this short guide, I've assumed that you get around by public transportation and have taken advantage of parked cars to look like a supercar driver. But if you want to give yourself the perfect millionaire touch, you need the luxury cars. But here I have to warn you about a few things. First of all, sports car like Lambo or Ferrari in Dubai is something for jerks, which already disqualifies you. Also because every wannabe millionaire takes pictures and video with the Lambo. If you want to project the image of a successful entrepreneur, the Lamborghini can only work if your target audience are kids who listen to trap music. Besides, if you listen well to the lyrics of trap music, even the guys who show off their Lambo, they are sad, they consume all sorts of antidepressants, they drive around with a loaded gun because they are afraid of being ambushed. If this is your concept of success, you have some serious problems. But let's move on. The price is about 1000 euros per day plus security uh, deposit. On top there's the risk that if you do some damage you will incur an additional cost and headaches because uh, those are only partly covered by the insurance. And here I would like to give you a tip as an let's say an older brother. Two little things. First, if in a normal life you are used to let's say a non-perfect roads and your own car, you have a certain standard of driving and in Dubai the roads are 
perfectly paved. And so the risk that you exceed the speed limit at get a photo shoot by the Dubai police is extremely high. A Lamborghini at 120 miles per hour on a flat, perfectly paved road gives you the feel of your car at 40 miles per hour. And the other problem is that the roads have many lanes, like Sheikh Zayed Road has seven lanes in each direction. So juggling the change of lanes and intersections is quite difficult if you're not used to it. And so you may ask yourself, how can I look super rich without exposing myself to risk and headaches? Here I have a practical, relatively inexpensive and very Instagrammable solution for you. And you should know that the Emirates Group, in addition to the airline, manages several hotels in the city, both four and five star. And Emirates offers its business and first class clients a limousine service. And for business clients, there is the equivalent of the Mercedes E-Class. And for first, the S-Class or higher. And clearly, those who travel in first class generally stay in a five star hotel. So there's a very interesting combination near financial center, metro station financial center. There's a, an hotel from the Emirates chain, which is called Emirates Grand Hotel Apartments that has only four stars, but it offers the limousine service with the Rolls Royce which is dedicated, of course, for, to the first class clients. And this car is used very little because in that hotel, only poor people go there. And we're talking about 80 euros per night. So you can rent the car with driver for one day for only 600 euros. In addition of saving at least 400 euros plus gasoline, plus all the headaches of liability in case of damage, you have a driver which is available to take you around the city and you can take pictures with the Rolls Royce, which is much more exclusive and elegant than the Lambo. And you can also sit at the back and pose like while reflecting on your life and your business and your success and your millions and do the stories like Dan Locke. And if you have a bottle of champagne left, you can also play the part of the successful businessman who celebrates the day worthily, sipping Moët et Chandon on the back seat made of virgin calfskin. I hope these tips earn you thousands of likes on Instagram. And while we are on the subject of likes, leave one on this video and maybe share it, especially with your favorite wannabe millionaires and business gurus. And if you have any insider tips, leave them in the comments. So maybe one day we will update this compendium and do the video directly in Dubai. And of course, if you do posts and stories featuring these locations, tag the blow show and I'll make sure to put a like and a heart on it. But before taking off, I wanted to give you a bonus tip. Unless you are a person who by showing off your luxurious lifestyle, you can make an ethical profit, forget it. Please don't follow the advice on this video. Just don't do it. Because if in order to be happy, you have to pretend to be happy, you are destined to remain unhappy. So take care and see you next time. Bye. Only on the blow show. So here we go.